Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here on my Hammermobile channel with a new Playmobil review for you. This time I am reviewing the Playmobil, the Explorer set 9434, enemy quad with Triceratops. This was made in 2018 with parts from different countries and I bought this in a store sometime during 2019 and now I'm getting around to opening it up so here is the front with the logo for the Explorers looks nice there here is the top of the box and the bottom of the box here is one side of the box and the other side of the box and the back of the box with my favorite picture showing the contents of the box where we see the dinosaur and the enemy and the quad so I've already taken a sneak peek inside here there are lots of parts that we have to put together some of it is already assembled, like the Triceratops and a few other parts. So I will put this together and review the set itself. Here is the figure that comes with this set. This figure is labeled simply as Enemy. I don't think he has a name, although he might appear in a cartoon where he's given a name, but I haven't seen that cartoon yet. So. Here he comes with a hat that goes on a uh, circular hairpiece here. And this hairpiece comes off pretty easily because here we have a mean, mean looking face. But we turn this around and then we have a very crazy looking face there. So he's definitely some kind of enemy. And here, this figure has some nice printing on it, some kind of camouflage. So a camouflage on the arms, and the front of the body, and the front of the pants. It looks like a belt, perhaps with some bullets and uh, belt loops there. And like most Playmobil figures, if you look around the side, there's no printing on either side and no printing on the back so it's a bit plain uh, it'd be nice if they sometimes uh, put printing on the back the same printing so it looks so it would look nice all over and here's a hat this figure comes with so looks nice there and this set comes with a cage a wooden cage that we have to assemble and there's the bottom, you know, it's just a plain uh, bottom, but if we look on the inside, if we can see on the inside, it has some wood texturing there. It's meant to look like some wood or planks of wood there. And I do like how it's, uh, it looks like this cage is made out of many sticks and it's meant to look kind of random or more natural here's some plants that we click on to the um, branches so it looks very nice you know, I like all the attention to detail and here's a little locking mechanism so it closes the cage now this cage is meant to hold a baby triceratops and so it does fit in and then it can be locked in and the baby cannot escape so it's an interesting little toy there and let's take a look at the baby triceratops now 
As a child growing up, most dinosaurs were kind of gray or maybe brown or green scaly uh, dinosaurs. But nowadays, uh, people think that they were covered in feathers and that they were very, very bright and colorful. So I think the painting on this little baby triceratops is meant to show how colorful they might have been. So uh, it's a baby, so it, it has more rounded features and it's meant to look kind of cute with stubby little um, horns. So it's kind of nice. It does have some articulation at the neck. It goes up and it goes down. So it can be eating or shifting through the the ground. And then it has um, legs that move independently of each other. That's the limit of the articulation on the front legs. And the same on the back. That's the limit. And if there's a baby triceratops, then there must be a mother triceratops. So, there it is. Much bigger than the baby. Looks like they are related. So, a lot of interesting painting on it. So on the top here it has a lot of paint detail. Then on the bottom there's no uh, painting detail there. And it has the same kind of articulation. Moves up and down. That's the limit for the front legs. And the limit for the hind legs. And this has at least two kinds of plastic. Kind of a harder, shinier plastic for most of the body. And then a softer, more rubbery type plastic for the toenails there, the bottom of the feet, and also the horns. So these are a bit pliable. So they're not very sharp either. So it's probably meant to be uh, safe for kids in case they decide to start ramming things with it. Ah, and there's also articulation in the jaw. The baby uh, Triceratops did not have articulation in the jaw. So that looks nice. So it's a lot of nice detail there. So let's see how big it is. So, yes, it is bigger than the uh, figure. That looks nice. Now, the enemy has a quad. Here's the quad. And we can put the figure in there. So just slide him in there. And then we put the roof piece on. And he fits in there very nicely. That uh, like Almost every uh, Playmobil vehicle, the wheels are a bit rubbery. So I like that. It makes it sound kind of quiet while rolling around. And the wheels do roll very nicely. Actually, the rear wheels are on a single axle, so they roll together. But the front ones are independent of each other. And the only stickers were the headlights. And these rockets here are meant as decoration. And here is the action feature. So we have a net, kind of a cloth net. We put this particular 
um, projectile through the net and then we have to push it in now this piece here is kind of loose so we have to prime it we have to push this in until we get a clicking noise there we go we stuff the net in there and then we will take aim and fire that's a nifty little feature there let's try this again let's see if I can get the little triceratops baby with this so we have to load this again and we'll get the baby out and let's see if we can get the baby. Oops, not quite. So, looks like I need some practice there. So, all in all, I'd say this is a nice set. I like the action feature. It seems to work. It just takes a little practice to aim it correctly. But the dinosaurs look very nice. The enemy quad looks pretty nice. Doesn't have side windows, but I think it's meant to be armored because you want to be well protected when dealing with large dinosaurs like this. And I'm not familiar with the story, but the uh, enemy character looks kind of interesting. I'm not sure why he would be so crazy evil, but I'll have to watch the cartoon to find out more about him. But this is an enjoyable set. I enjoy the dinosaurs and the cage looks nice. And the quad looks very nice. So thank you for watching my review video. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. Until next time, goodbye everyone.